Lung cancer is the most common type of cancer in the United States. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is dermatologist Dr. Edward Abreu with Beacon Skin and Surgeries. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Talking today about skin cancer or is another name for it melanoma or is melanoma different than skin cancer? Melanoma is a type of skin cancer. There are non-melanoma types broadly and then melanoma type. The non-melanoma type is the most common type of cancer worldwide. About three uh, and a half million uh, cases a year in the United States. Uh, for melanoma, it's about 75,000 cases in the United States. All are considered part of the skin cancer. Melanoma is more deadly than, than, than uh, the non-melanoma skin cancer, and that's why we kind of focus on it, and it's kind of a buzzword that people worry about. Who should be worried perhaps more than others? Does it hurt, uh, does it uh, hit certain demographics, ages, uh, sexes uh, differently? Absolutely, melanoma can affect everybody. However, we see it more common in fair complected individuals, in individuals who have had history of melanoma themselves for a second one, in uh, family history who have had melanomas, people with immune suppression, Older people are typically more prone to get it than younger individuals. Mm. Uh, male more than female, however, under age 45, it's typically males that get affected more than females. And certain uh, dermatologic disorder, like we call it dermatos um, uh, zero der dermapigmentosa, these are the ones that get very uh, prone to these skin cancers because they have a genetic inability to repair their DNA. Well, it sounds like, it, just like most cancers, there is a genetic, uh, the predisposition. Sort of predisposition somewhere you said if, if you've got it once it may happen again if you Absolutely. have it in your family uh, but also we certainly hear a lot about exposure to the sun uh, being a cause uh, so is it preventable absolutely we believe that one of the main causes of skin cancer is uh, exposure to sunlight specifically the ultraviolet light there are two types of them UVA and UVB both of them have been linked to some forms of skin cancer so preventing ourselves from exposure to the ultraviolet light helps significantly and we can do that fairly easily correct uh, simply by wearing sunscreen or what would be your best advice absolutely we are at an era we have multiple choices when it comes to sunscreen. The recommendation is for us to use sunscreen about 20 to 30 minutes prior to outdoor activities. Use broad spectrum sunscreen, UVA and UVB protection, that's why we call it broad spectrum. Apply it about 20 to 30 minutes prior to outdoor activities so that our skin and body soaks it in and reapply every couple of hours. Why do we suggest that? Because when we perspire, it washes off and it is uh, paramount for us to reapply it on a regular basis. No. What would be some of the first signs that uh, something that you may look for that might be a concern you may go talk to your dermatologist about? Absolutely. For the non-melanoma skin cancer, typically a spot that scabs over, that doesn't heal, that bleeds and doesn't stop. Uh, for that, we need to get it checked because typically we should not have a spontaneous spot like that in our body. Uh, for the melanoma type, uh, we worry about any mold that has changed. So we look at what we call the ugly duckling sign. If it is uh, darker than the rest of the moles, if it is larger than the rest of the moles all of a sudden, if it is uh, asymmetric, meaning one side does not look like the other, um, if, it, if the borders do not look regular compared to other moles. And finally, we call that evolving. If there's anything that changes in a mole, then we should worry about us uh, uh, having some form of skin cancer. Uh, what are the trends? Are we doing better today as human beings maybe than 20, 30 years ago uh, just because we're better educated about the dangers? I do believe we are. However, the melanoma numbers are on the rise, mm. and uh, but we're getting better at detecting it. And also I see within families, children are extremely protected nowadays. So we uh, before about 50 years ago where we did not uh, have that many choices when it comes to sunscreen, people went out with uh, baby oil and try to to suntan nowadays actually people are educated and they're protecting their themselves and more, uh, also very importantly their children uh, with um, uh, basically with using sunscreen on a regular basis so that's definitely we're doing well when it comes to that good news thank you so much for joining us thank you today's Comcast newsmaker was dr. Edward Abreu with beacon skin and surgeries